boys. Thank you, Darren. We're already into the draft here. Some similar bands coming coming through. XYZ has the blue side um, has the blue side first pick in this uh, draft. So they are banning out. They, they're continuing to ban out though that Akali from mm -hmm. Kosi Shroud and the Graves mm -hmm. this time does come in against nine six one. Um, meanwhile, Galio and Gangplank on the other side actually just uh, banning out some of those very powerful solo lanes. Yeah, I think what X Two learned is like if they're willing to play the Graves, they don't want it. They don't want it because like yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it's it's the one thing that really really even their their whole scaling plan was going to be matched by Graves the whole way through, mm -hmm. and was able to kind of do a lot of work to really make it difficult for you to get things done in, in mm -hmm. the early game. So we're seeing the Ezreal pick picked up. Oh, Kid Chi Boys picked up the Yumi. <laughs> okay. First pick. Let's okay, go. Okay. So here's some here's some analysis for you. All right, let's go. Yumi has a 100% loss rate in Manitoba Esports League's finals. So Kimchi Boys are going to lose this game. <laughs> you, so uh, can you elaborate it's on math. that? It's, 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 it's math. You can't argue with it. Um, All right. So yeah, it's the last game, you mean. I, yeah. I see, I see. <laughs> um, they, they, they do pick up the Olaf with it. Yeah. Uh, it's a great combination. You do deny the Yumi on the other side with the Ezreal. It makes sense they did it. Yep. I just, again, I hate it. Yeah, Yumi with Olaf is very, very powerful, and I like the I like that um, 961 is going on to this Olaf uh, with the Graves taken away. We've already seen how powerful 961 can be with junglers that are able to apply a lot of pressure early. Uh, the Trundle is the response to that, and the Trundle definitely is, you know, uh, we've got we've got honest jungling. I, I heard Captain Snarfles refer to this, and I uh, really liked it. He said, you know, we got two honest junglers right here. Mm -hmm. Nobody's jumping over walls. Nobody's doing two camps <laughs> at once, really, at the beginning, and, you know, it's just just an honest clear from both junglers so mm -hmm. we'll see if that is how it plays out but actually the senna taken away in lieu of the yumi pick so mm -hmm. we already have both bot lanes uh secured here yumi Ophelios versus ezreal senna yeah it at least gives you the ability like to pick both your bot lanes to still at least mm -hmm. have one counter pick yep uh over into the uh one of your solo lanes so mm -hmm. they're gonna be able to try to at least counter pick one person obviously kimchi boys on the red side will get the the final say on what they get to pick there but yeah um it, it makes a lot of sense to oriana being banned out here now this time mm. the cassidy being respected from the kimchi boys i feel like even though uh i don't think kept got a or didn't get a kill to like i think that very very yeah. last fight yeah um i think they respected that kept does have the ability to take over a game with that and just don't want to give him a second shake at it well, it's clearly a comfort pick. I mean, he last picked it into Oriana, which is not a favorable lane matchup, as we saw. So, you know, it, it, but oh, I was going to I was going to talk about this on patch 10.12. One of the strongest champions in the mid lane is Twisted Fate. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is just so, so popular, especially in the Asian regions right now. Korea and China in particular are playing this all the time. We've seen it in LCS as well. Uh, it just has so much presence with the recent buffs. It has so much, uh, you know, ability to to be good in lane as well mm -hmm. and you know there are counter picks available but uh with the twisted fate being have having the yumi and being able to come in for those uh those ganks it's going to be a really really good fit for yunbi yeah exactly and we'll see what kind of build they go for they can go for that weird kind of hybrid build or just kind of go straight ap mm -hmm. and kind of go from there so uh they'll be very interested to see that we'll pretty much know by uh, uh once we yeah. see their once we see the mastery yep exactly exactly so we'll we'll get that going jack's being picked over on the other side for xyz this mm -hmm. gives them some split pushing potential because right now you basically have some happy wave clear and some uh poke uh mm -hmm. and right now Jax is the kind of guy that can kind of push in your waves uh in the other lane yeah it's a signature pick for girthy lamppost as well and they mm -hmm. are having to pick one solo lane blind so they choose to pick the top lane uh blind but mordekaiser actually comes in as well so this is oh. what they're going to do up against twisted fate really good at pushing him in really good at dueling him and mm -hmm. you can use that death realm uh very effectively against that champion so mm -hmm. that's going to be a very very exciting matchup we'll see if kept uh can apply pressure and uh stop yunbi from you know, getting uh, getting that presence out on the map. Meanwhile, Orn comes in as the counter, and this is just you know, Cozy Shroud just saying, "All right, you want to play Jax? Uh, you can just do nothing all game because I'm yeah. Orn and you can't kill me." <laughs> and it rounds out their team with a true tank. Obviously, you have Olaf as kind of the bruiser there, but yep. like a true tank over here coming in them, and a premier tank of kind of all mm -hmm. the entire champion pool in League of Legends. So they're going to be pretty happy with that. I like I like the, the team composition from coming from Kimchi Boys. Uh, mm -hmm. They're going to run at you, and it's going to hurt. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And it's going to be the Orn, you know, allowing that scaling to happen. Um, meanwhile, you know, over the, over on the other side, I, I, I think this is a very, very exciting game. I think there are advantages to be found from both sides here mm -hmm. uh, for different lanes. 
but yeah, this is going to be a really good one. Kimchi boys already took the first game. Can XYZ even it out? We'll see after the break. All right, we're back into Summoner's Rift. Game two of our Manitoba Esports League Grand Finals. It's a best of five, so we got plenty of games to go. XYZ did lose the first one. They're now over on the blue side. Kimchi Boys took game number one. They're over on the red. Yeah, and uh, Kimchi Boys can put themselves on match point, grand final point here if they uh, take this game. So it is already a very, very high stakes situation coming in for XYZ. I like the team comp they've built. I like the Mordekaiser pick into Twisted Fate. I think that Kep definitely has the potential to, uh, to you know, bully out Yunbi out of this lane and maybe sort of shut him down a little bit. Um, but you've got to be a little worried about this Yumi and Olaf combo in the mm -hmm. mid game because, you know, Olaf is definitely going to be able to win those trades against Trundle if he really, you know, if if they run into each other in the very early game. And I I have to predict that not, that's exactly what 961 is going to be trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... It's it's gonna be scary because like in the last game you saw Kimchi Boys put together like their mid game spiking comp um, mm -hmm. versus the the infinitely scaling comp. They got the one that infinitely scales, and we've seen how good their macro is. So this, mm -hmm. this is a game that like could feel just inevitable the whole way for Kimchi yeah. Boys. Well, like you could kind of tell in game one, I was kind of cheering for XYZ because I liked mm -hmm. how the potential of what their composition could have done if they kind of just pieced together yep. a couple wins when they really, really needed it. But this is a scary one where it's like, hey, if Kimchi Boys get ahead, I don't think they're giving it up. Yeah, exactly. And we've talked about XYZ as sort of this, you know, that they, they win, they've got good players, but they win with macro and they win with team play. Uh, whereas Kimchi Boys, the narrative is a lot, a lot of it is about, you know, oh, Yunbi, oh, Cozy Shroud, these, you know, mm -hmm. these high skill players who just you can't beat them in lane and they win off that. But actually, you know, Kimchi Boys is, especially at this point in the season, they aren't just some, you know, pub stomping you know a <laughs> group of high high ranked solo queue players like yeah. these guys have really really built synergy over the course of this season and just you know continued to uh continue to outplay their opponents in every aspect of the game so yeah, xyz we, has their work cut out to them and them. we have some other teams in this league that are just that right they're, they are yep. kind of like a bunch of solo queue stars yep. and they're not in the final mm. xyz beat them to get to here you yep, know what exactly I mean? so yep. it's like and in fact kimji boys actually had a relatively easy route through the uh, through the the, yep, uh, the playoffs. That's, that's true. So, like, yeah. XYZ had to come here the hard way. They had to mm -hmm. beat individually extremely strong players to make it to this final. So, they have the yep. ability to kind of match that solo queue starness. But again, they just have to kind of put together their game plan. They always felt like one or two steps behind, which is mm -hmm. right now they look like they're a step ahead on top of Yunbi. He might have to flash here. He's going to use his gold card. Is he not wow. going to flash? That is bold. <laughs> that is brave in the face of adversity. Just take it. I love that from Yunbi. Sees the cooldowns go, sees that they don't have any more damage to offer here, and saves that flash, pops the potions mm. right back into this lane. That's just so, so good from Yunbi. And, yeah. uh, you know, any lesser mid laner would have flashed there, uh, but yeah, like, he knows I, he can hold it. And whatever anyone wants to say in chat, you can't convince me otherwise that you wouldn't have flashed there. Yeah, no, <laughs> because no, I, 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 like, I call that, BS on that. Yeah, because, like, as well, like, obviously being a good player, you make the impressive crazy plays that are just crazy out plays and getting kills. It's yeah. plays like that that really secure your spot on top of Challenger. Mm -hmm. exactly. Just because you can consistently go, hey, I have my flash in the next five minutes. It's not gone now. You're not, you don't, you can't revisit my lane as easily as you would against any other mid laner in the world. 961 now taking some damage here and lamppost is the first to collapse uh pardon me it's kept who's the first to collapse but oh. uh they are aware of cozy shroud but yunbi taking a lot of damage here as well still not flashing <laughs> oh, and lots of damage here's 961 Ooh. he has to flash towards the turret and fights He's going back flash. and forth low health bars yeah. but nobody <laughs> wanting to commit here yeah, exactly. They're able to kind of like get away with that one right now. But yeah, they finally get a flash out of someone and 9-6 is going to be yeah. the one going down. Remember, like XYZ is a team with the earlier game team composition here. Nice pillar to force 9-6 uh, to just basically be uncomfortable over there. Yeah. And that's what you got to do right now if you're Captain Starfalls. Because I felt like 9-6 was too comfortable game one and was kind of mm -hmm. able to do whatever he wanted to at the whole game. Captain Starfalls is here to interrupt that. Yeah, uh, 961 still ahead in farm and levels, and so definitely is scary for Captain Starfalls, but well done by LE and Blue Hole to have, have priority there. They've had it all game so far. 
no surprise with the Senna, and that allows them to uh, walk down and secure that uh, Scuttle Crab, which you know I maintain is one of the most important objectives in the game, especially early on laning phase. So that's going to be a, a nice play there. Still is Olaf power farming, staying ahead, and uh, this dragon's about to spawn. So you know the one thing that uh, Captain Starfalls has in his favor is that bot lane still having priority and we'll see if that affects uh, who grabs this dragon yeah they're trying to push this out right now and make sure that they have that so it's an easy time for captain snarfles here he's looking to huh, kind of kept. start it uh, <laughs> kept keeps having his recall stop the most annoying thing is <laughs> so just annoying. come on man just let me go back yeah just try to reset so maybe be able to come back to uh, mm -hmm. uh in case the dragon fight breaks up but it looks like it will just kind of easily be xyz's dragon here i don't see mm -hmm. kimchi boys jumping in at this unless 961 does try to do something crazy right now but it will happen they'll get the first dragon here a couple souls over here for blue hole yep. will be nice and they're gonna walk out of here unless 96 has something to say about it captain Zervals doesn't have any mana here so does have to, have to try to run away blue hole doesn't really have a lot of mana here either so he's gonna try to flash to get out so you're at least some summer spell teleports now coming through it's a party in the ball lane just like last time lampost is in the middle of it Co cozy shroud is gonna jump in get a bunch of knock up first blood coming over the i am owner and more going down yumpy's gonna be here now as well he's gonna pick up a kill and kept will follow up to get that kill right back double kill now over here for yumpy can they stop him he will get him down le picks up a double kill of his own he's got the yumi with them can yumpy make a play over here captain ellie are pretty low they're trying to take him down here remember oh. Yumpy still has his flash, and he uses it there to try to make a play, but Kept is on top of him. He'll take him down. Double kill for Kept, and he goes, this is my lane now. Wow, that is a really, really well played by XYZ there. It looked so, so good for uh, Kimchi Boys at first. It looked like they had the total outplay because LE farming up the lane showed up a little bit late to that fight, wasn't able to apply the damage. But then with Kept and... Uh, uh, the other, I think it was Blue Hole there, kept and Blue Hole just kind of dodging around, dancing around the uh, the wild cards, and really, really being able to maximize their effectiveness in that team fight. Did manage to get two extra kills, and so even though the first blood goes over to I am owner, it is X Y Z coming ahead in that fight. It was kind of funny, like obviously Kept was playing the Cassidy in last game. Uh, Kept made that look like a late game Cassidy mm -hmm. in that team fight. He was yeah. just jumping on top of people, obviously flashing in to kind of make that eventually happen and then getting rid of them. I thought Yumbi, again, we were just going to re recite that he kept his flash there. He had it for that yeah. fight. I thought he was going to make a big outplay, but Kept was just well aware of what was going on in that team fight and was mm -hmm. able to turn that around. He's got three kills of his own. Yumbi's got two, but right now you're very, very happy if you're Kept and you're XYZ. Absolutely, yeah, and this is exactly why they picked that Mordekaiser is because it does so well in these skirmishes, you know, you've got all this AoE, all this presence, even before level 6, now that he's reached it, it's going to be even more effective in those team fights uh, to, uh, yeah. you know, uh, condemn someone to the death realm. Mordekaiser in particular is great against Yumi because you can uh, get Yumi off of the champion that you want to isolate, or you mm -hmm. can isolate Yumi if you find her, and so it really, really does uh, a good job against that champion, so we'll see if that is used here. Yeah, it's super just tough. You can see, obviously, you can QSS um, the, the, the alt away. We'll see who ends up picking that up. Highly recommend it if I'm I am owner. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's what they're going to have to do with it. And you have two kills over on Ellie, which was something we haven't even mentioned at all. Yeah. AD carries getting kills. Those are good, I hear. <laughs> yeah, Ellie, Ellie played that fight really well. Uh, went aggressive when he knew that some of those cooldowns and some of that mana was running low. So it, really nice play by Ellie. And now a collapse here onto the Rift Herald. But we'll see if they want to take this fight. They try to fight for this right now. Captain's taking Yumbi into that death realm. They're fighting 1v1 over here. The two mid laners really trying to go at it. Yumbi is going to be able to knock him down. He's going to be able to get that gold card. It stuns him up so when he comes back out, he gets taken out. Lampost is here to follow up with some more damage. They're going to even this out here. Shroud is going to go down. Captain Starfalls, they're going to turn around over here. Blue Hole is going to try to use that ultimate to force them back, but they're going to keep going forward because I am owner is here to play. He picks up a kill. He picks up another one. 9-6 is here to jump on top of you, Blue Hole, and you're going to go down. Triple kill comes in for I am owner. Oh, and that is the power of Yumi right there. Yumi with Olaf going back and forth between the Olaf and the Aphelios is just so, so powerful. And it's just so terrible to play against. You saw that XYZ made a really nice engage there. It was kept who was like way down in the back line through that death realm. Oh, actually pulls in 9-6 there, but... Uh, yeah, it, it still, just because of that Yumi being able to heal so many players up and because of the early game strength of that Olaf, still Kimchi Boys is able to get the advantage and get the gold lead back here. And Yumi is not a fair champion. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if a ban comes through next game. I, I just wouldn't want to play against this. Uh, it just turns fights around that you don't expect. It sort of does, uh, it has a similar kind of mental effect as Soraka, where you're like, okay, we can take this. Health bars look right for me. Cooldowns are right. But then Soraka, you're just like, oh, wait, so that, that heal came in and then this heal came in. And, mm. You know, it, it, Yumi is sort of does a similar thing. And, and but at least you could target just, Soraka. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. And that is the strength there. Here's oh, an ultimate uncapped. In a little bit of danger here. Yumbi's using that destiny to get on Ooh. top of him. Sends him up. Gets the knock up from Cozy Shroud and picks up the kill. And there yeah. goes your mid laner. Yeah, that's uh, just the ultimate in kept a little too far up. And this is why Twisted Fade is so powerful there. If you've got the rotations and you've got champions to follow up, uh, just getting that positioning, you know, Twisted Fade is the the master of positioning. And so uh, mm -hmm. if you can get that, it's just going to be so, so difficult to get away from, you know, even if you're playing safe, even if, mm -hmm. like, kept, you're kind of getting ahead and getting some items here. Yeah, and the forefront is, like, you can have wards everywhere on the map, but, like, you can always be out of position when mm -hmm. uh, Twisted Fade is in yep. the game. Yep, <laughs> so exactly. it's kind of a scary thing you just like, have to always think about it it's stressful it's annoying but mm -hmm. uh, you you saw what happens when kep was i don't even think he was past half in his mid lane and he was out of position you know what i mean yeah so exactly it, it's a, it's, no yeah he was play not even past half exactly dragon will go down that's the second one and uh a, a dragon apiece for mm -hmm. these oh. teams now the cloud wins Real. quicken as you see on your screen so that is going to be cloud soul uh, some people call it clown soul as it is not as it, it sometimes doesn't have as much effect as others but of course on uh, champions it's like Olaf in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly there's there's some good there's some people who make a, a lot of good use of it uh, Olaf for instance Trundle as well um and of course, Twisted Fate, we talked about positioning. If you use that ultimate and you get basically a home guard off of it, uh, that definitely is going to yeah. help you out in team fights. Ozzy Shroud oh. now being zoned Big away. Ozzy awesome. Shroud is going to try to use Exhaust and force Captain Flowers, or sorry, Captain Starfalls rather, out of that situation. <laughs> uh, Captain Flowers, we'll... what are you doing here? Uh, not playing the right champion to be Captain yeah, Flowers, exactly. that's for sure. Uh, um, I am owner, meanwhile, is fighting over in a blue hole. They're using ultimate as 9 is coming to join for the gag, for the tower dive. Take him down. The Ragnarok is through, and he's unstoppable. He's coming right for you, Ellie, and there's nothing you can do about it. Double kill comes through now, and there's a bonus ultimate from Cozy Stroud for fun. <laughs> They're going to take this out. Yeah, he just uh, uses that just in case Le managed to flash out of range there, but nothing is, like that is going to happen. They're just going to trade towers, and it actually looks like the, the um, XYZ might get the first tower. That one on the top lane is a little bit lower, mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be a race here uh, for these plates. Yeah, it is going to be XYZ taking the first turret, so that's definitely something. A little bit of gold uh, coming back, and, you know, it's still not... not a crazy lead here for Kimchi mm -hmm. Boys. XYZ with that early lead, uh, they have given it up, but it, it yeah, it's still echoing through as uh, these teams are pretty close still. And the other thing is then, like I, I might just sound like a giant fanboy for scaling comps, uh, mm -hmm. and I apologize if I do, but it just comes down to the fact that Kimchi Boys is ahead and they're the scaling comp. They mm -hmm. basically win the game, right? Like, it's not, yep. like that's what yep. it feels like to me right now. Whereas the first game, you're like, hey, maybe they can come back. They always had this opportunity to come back if they made the right plays. And right mm -hmm. now, it's so hard to see it. Um, you, yeah, you saw it when they got a couple kills, when uh, Kept got a couple of those kills there, and then Ellie got it. But then they lost it right away, fighting for a Rift Herald. And it's just like, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a bit of a, a frustrating situation. But Kimchi Boys are just that good. They make you make mistakes. And speaking of making you make mistakes, maybe Cozy Shroud himself has made a bit of a mistake being a fish. But pushed out too far. He will go down, so at least Lampo's going to pick up a kill and trade that, but they are pushing the bottom lane. Yeah, we talk about scaling, and you definitely um, do see some options for XYZ in the form of that Jax. Hang on, though. There's a young oh. B with the flank. And the teleport's coming through, so they're jumping forward. I am owner. We'll pick up the first kill here, but they're ready to fight. And here comes Ketch. He does use that ultimate. He's going to be able to take it down. I am owner. That's three of them down now. Only blue hole down for XYZ, and nice advantage goes over for them. Yeah, well done to isolate Yumi there and make sure that uh, she wasn't able to dash. Here's 961 with the steel coming right in on Captain <laughs> Snarfles and saying, nope, this is my jungle. Uh, Snarfles now is going to have to pick up the pieces here. I got two uh, and, levels yeah. on him. Yeah, like I, said, it's... I said I said it before where I was saying, hey, Captain Star was gonna have to do a better job of interfering mm -hmm. around with nine six, which he was doing very very early in the game, but yeah. clearly lately hasn't been to like I said two levels on top of him for nine six, so he just can't contest when nine six comes and takes your blue buff. 
Yeah, if you get a couple of team fights with the Olaf Yumi combo and Olaf gets a few kills, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to be able to fight him at this point. Now 961's pretty isolated, but uh, he does get stunned, but they're not interested in taking that fight. Yeah, he'll be perfectly fine. Everyone is here as they always are for the Kimchi boys. Mm -hmm. They're never alone. That's the biggest thing about this team is that like, yeah. you might think someone's alone, but th their friends are right around the corner. The only player who's sometimes alone is Yunbi, and, uh, you know, he's allowed. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 like, earned that right yeah, from what exactly. he's done to this league. So here comes the fight. Can they take it now? I am owner's real low. He's now dead. Lampos takes that one. Ali will answer that with another kill of his own. Koji shows down. Can they pick up a third kill? They will take up a third one. That's them running away. Kimchi boys take a bad fight. XYZ dominates. Yeah, XYZ with a really nice engage there. Perfectly taking advantage. And you saw the absolute burst coming down onto Aphelios. I am owner just completely melting at the beginning of that fight. And, you know, that is the champion where that you're relying on for, for team fight damage right now in a lot of cases uh, you saw 961 on Olaf went down as well so really really good job by uh, uh, XYZ and this is this game is now neck and neck XYZ has taken back the gold lead just barely we'll see mm -hmm. if they can convert that into this dragon control yeah, like, let's call it the cast curse. I was already willing to give Kimchi Boys game two win, and yeah. all of a sudden, XYZ are clapping back. And a big part of that right now, look at LE and that CS difference. Gonna yes. be able to pick up a lot more gold, get a lot more of that experience, got that level right now over uh, I am owner, and is really making work here. But here's Yunbi gonna cast a curse me once again and take oh. LE out of there. Chumba can actually pick up that kill. Uh, I'm just gonna stop saying anyone's ahead in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, don't limit yourself too much there, Johnny. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was a nice play there. Yunbi once again showing the power of uh, both Yumi and uh, Twisted Fate catching out LE there and getting the shutdown on Ezreal, key thing there. But yeah, you know, LE with that huge, uh, that huge CS lead showing the power of Senna down in that bot lane. Even mm -hmm. though Ezreal isn't, you know, not known as the strongest laner, just the fact that Senna is up against Yumi, who, you know, is a very weak laner in a lot of cases, mm -hmm. uh, allowed them to get such a huge advantage in that bot lane. And, oh, uh, yeah. you know, we talk about scaling, Ezreal, you know, does be, does get to that hyper carry mode. He's got the Trinity Force and already the... built. You know, he's got that man immune. Ezreal is going to be doing crazy damage uh, with s eventually some difficulty getting on him if uh, if they can control 961 here. So, uh, oh, yeah, we'll so... see how those late game team fights go. They're breaking out a fight over here. Lampo's hopping on top of Cozy Shroud. does have Cap right behind him to continue to follow up here. Will he take him towards that Death Realm? Decides not to as Cozy Shroud can walk out of there. And the turret was right there. So that would have been a bit of a troubling moment there. They will take this red buff away and take some control of this jungle. As they just take a small advantage out of that one. Yeah, and XYZ need to keep up the pressure here. They definitely have shown that they have the damage to win team fights right now. And uh, Orin's still not a single item completed, so that tankiness just isn't going to be there against those carries. Um, once it starts okay. to get there, it's going to be pretty hard to melt that Orn, especially when the ornaments start coming through. But uh, Cozy Shroud has been sort of playing weak side this game and actually is level 10 below mm -hmm. Yunbi and 961. So uh, it's going to be a little while yet before those level 13, 14, and on uh, item buffs come mm -hmm. through. So, you know, Kimchi Boys has to hold out until then before they really, really start to, you know, force team fights 5v5. Just Riff Herald was picked up a little while ago, finally being used over here in the bot lane. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I want to point out real quick is um, if we're looking over at Blue Hole on that Sam Chapping, going the Grasp route is something yeah. I really disagree with based on what you're playing against. Sure. So, A, right now, you don't, without um, Glacial Augment and you don't have the Frozen Hammer, you mm -hmm. don't have that slow that is basically needed in that kit until you buy it and you're behind. You're at 18 minutes, you still don't have that hammer because it's such an expensive item. Yeah. It, the grass build really only works against melee supports on the other team. Sure. So it's 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 such an awkward choice to build that one. I would have went with Glacial Augment based on what you're playing against because you're just not stacking that grasp and mm -hmm. uh, therefore you're not really getting anywhere. And now, right now, you don't have a slow at the 19 minute point of this game, which is a very important minute point of this game for your team. And yeah. you just like, are uh, almost useless to be completely honest with you right now so it's a bit of an awkward itemization and a bit of augment choice right now for the senna but uh they just gonna have to deal with it as they continue on this game is so close that a difference like that could mean the game 
Yeah, Senna not with any completed items either, as we do see Orn finishing that Sunfire Cape in contrast. Uh, so yeah, it, you know, having to build that Executioner's Calling because of the Yumi, you know, uh, having to, you know, go with that support item, getting the boots uh, for speed, and now, only now working towards the Mallet is definitely, you know, yeah, it delays that team fight power, and like you say, the Glacial Augment definitely could shore that up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure, you know, I, I think Grasp could have been, you know, picked more for the lane, uh, and they did manage to get that, but I think Senna just does that anyway, so I'm not sure if that's yeah, really like enough I said, justification. Like you, you, you use Grasp against a melee support because you can stack mm -hmm. it. Sure. Against the melee support. Yeah. He basically wasn't stacking it the whole game because yeah, right, uh, right. I am owner is a smart enough AD carry to not just like randomly tank shots from from blue hole, right? So yeah, uh, it, it's 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 just tough. <laughs> That's yeah, all yeah, it'd be interesting. I like to see. Senna because Senna's so flexible and that you can go like, mm -hmm. okay, I see what I'm playing against. I can do yeah. X, Y, and Z and do different things. Uh, pun completely intended. I uh -huh. But um. <laughs> You just didn't. <laughs> didn't yeah, really think yeah, about yeah. it. And, and we did a, like last game talking about the Malphite pick and and and, and the uh, bomby cinder. Like those are the yeah. kind of things. Like if you just go on autopilot, sometimes you just like cost yourself so much yep. in the game because yeah, yep. this 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 build is super popular right now, but it's actually a situational build that you should be using. I I believe sure. way more. Okay. Yeah, interesting. That's uh, that's some some Senna info that uh, wasn't as familiar to me. But speaking Ooh. of which, we have lamp posts coming through. Now it is going to be yeah. all the teams oh, coming uh, in. Here's an ultimate. Here comes the teleport here from Kepti. Going to try to turn this one around. Will not be able to do so, at least for that first kill, but does have Cozy Shroud in the Shadow Realm. Does dig him out, Death Realm, whatever whatever you want to call it. Here we go now. Everyone is here, ready for the fight. Ellie has joined now, putting down tons of damage. Going 9-6, but he's got Yumi on him. Does keep him up for now. Ellie will take him out. I Am Owner is now going to be over here. Can put down some damage here. They're rooting up. Ellie is jumping Ooh. forward. He's going down so low, but he survives. I Am Owner's got a giant shield on him. Oh, boo! Hole tries for the flash kill will not be able to get that one now and lots of people low but only two members down for kimji boys xyz only lose one yeah so xyz with another fight that they win very very close here and the teleport's gonna come in they're gonna try and do baron off this with 961 dead cozy shroud though does have teleport available as well and is going to use it right away so that is uh uh the baron's getting very low so we'll see if they can contest this they don't do it completely fast, but it's pretty early in the game right now. Basically mm. doing it as early as he almost possibly can to get his zone out Cozy Shroud. So Lampos is going to help his team pick up that one. And there we go. Yeah, they have the Baron buff. That's a huge pickup for them. Lampos is actually yeah. not done yet. Jumping on top of I Am Owner. Here comes Yumbi using that flash. Get a gold card him. But here comes Captain Starfall. It's going to put that pillar Ooh. in the way so you can't get out. Kept is going to pick up that kill. Yunbi thought they had recalled and flashed in. Very, very inadvisable play. And I love the decisiveness from XYZ to take that Baron. That's just a beautiful play uh, to, you know, realize exactly who's dead on the enemy team and what kind of advantages they can take. Now that they've gotten the turret in mid, they can go down towards the dragon and XYZ is pulling ahead in this game. Yeah, this is a game where you go, this is why Steph is the analyst and I'm the play-by-play. -play, because <laughs> Steph was talking about this is the exact comp he wanted them to play to be able to win. Yeah. And then I spent like half the game talking about, oh no, they're behind and they can't win. Yeah. Well, yeah. here they're doing it. They're they're winning with the mm -hmm. composition that Steph wanted them to basically play. And they're yep. doing it by really finding perfect picks at perfect moments because they're stronger right now than Kimchi Boys. Yes, absolutely. LE is a really big part of that. LE and Kept doing the majority of the damage here. Oh. And you can see that in the kills, but hang on. See, uh, here's the other problem here. 9-6 can just kind of go ultimate. He's going to actually get her. I thought he was going to run away, but he decides to pick up a kill for fun. Heal one for one. Uh, cool. <laughs> oh, man. That is just one of the most Chad plays I've ever seen in my life. Goes into four players and still manages to grab a kill onto Blue Hole. Uh, I'm not funny. sure that's exactly the most advisable play, but they do go for it. And, you know, uh, that Senna will be down for a while. Does get that frozen uh, mallet finally completed. Mm -hmm. And so that slow is going to be there, uh, you know, now that XYZ, uh, oh, actually, there's the ultimate from Yunbi, uh, just uses that to escape, so nice play there. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, now now that that is completed, they're going to have even more utility in these team fights and be able to catch up. And if Yunbi keeps overextending or, you know, if they are able to catch out I Am Owner, they can really, really set themselves up for, uh, for uh, a push to end the game here. Yeah, they're really set up right now for this one. It's two dragons apiece. Nothing kind of up neutrally for these teams. So right now they're just trying to push in the waves. 
and get some sort of advantage somewhere. Mm -hmm. So uh, it'd be very interesting to see kind of see what comes up next here. We're sitting now at the 24 minute mark of this game and a 3,000 gold lead or almost 4,000 gold lead for XYZ. So here's Captain Starfall's finding 9-6. He's got Yumi on him. He's got Ragnarok because that's on a 40 second cooldown. He will still go down though because the damage will kill you. It's the best CC in the game. <laughs> <laughs> the burst from LE coming in there, and uh, that Ezreal is so powerful, uh, and oh, you know, it scales so, so well. Yeah, LE is just absolutely bursting them down right now. Uh, the Yumi, the only thing kind of keeping them topped up. Uh, and we'll see if this push is probably going to continue with that Olaf now, uh, now taken down. We spent a lot of time in our analysts and uh, every time just talking about these mid lane cat versus yumbi but right now we're seeing the ellie versus i am owner difference really mm -hmm. really coming through here i am owners on basically a busted champion and it has some a decent amount of cool on them but can't really do anything over here they're now pushing in this inhibitor they're able to take that one here they can't really engage a fight so they're just going to take these minions and le's got his team on his back Absolutely. Now, yeah, Captain LE doing so much damage, in particular LE with that scaling Ezreal now with the Muramana completed. Count the death stances coming through. <laughs> Felios actually has had to delay that. And that looks like the dagger coming through, so the death stance may not be the third item uh, as it is for Ezreal there. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, Jack's also working on that very, very broken item in this in this particular patch, uh, mm -hmm. death stance. You know, we've we've already seen the clips. We know how ridiculous that item is, and we're going to see it coming through very, very soon here. Uh, yeah, with that I think that's been broken for a while, and I, yep. I've, I've been surprised how slow it's been for AD carries to be able to pick yeah, up exactly. this item for themselves, yeah. and uh, they're obviously starting to do it now. But here you go, Yum B's got a Yumi, so you are going to be taken down. 9 6 is right behind them, so it's a 3v1. Lampos, can you get out? I do not think so. Shut down comes through for 9 6, but here is the rest of the team. They're all here. Can they continue pushing? Looks like they'll opt to just back and be happy with the one pick kill. Yeah, not much to get there. The waves are pushing against them, especially mid lane, of course, with those super minions. So uh, it is just going to be the one kill, and then they're going to have to back off. Uh, but uh, a nice find onto Lamppost to shut down there for Olaf to, you know, uh, keep working towards that. Um, uh, it looks like Frozen Heart he's uh, possibly working on. And... Um, yeah, they're just going to have to back off and continue to push these lanes. That's Yanbi, actually. Oh, this, the Our ultimate power. is stopped by Captain Starfalls. Yeah, so he's going to be able to do that. Nice play there, but Yanbi will stone down for now and probably should oh. be able to walk out here, but Starfalls is not done yet. He's no, still going to run at him. Kind of knows where the rest of the enemy team is, so knows that Yanbi doesn't have anyone directly behind. They're trying to commit for this. Ali's going to come down, put down Ooh. the damage. Yanbi doesn't dodge any of it. Ali picks up his seventh kill. Yeah, that slow from the trundle, so, so nice. And in particular, the initial interruption of the ultimate, uh, which Yunbi was going to use to escape. Uh, Captain Starfall's playing that so well. Uh, now the dragon's going to come up uh, before Yunbi has spawned. So it uh, looks like that third dragon's going to go over uh, towards XYZ after they push down this turret. XYZ making me a believer right now. They're taking towers. They're taking names. Yumbi two and four, which I don't think I've ever seen that score on this man. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they're really, really making work here. They're taking on another inhibitor turret here. Can they get the inhibitor as well? Let's see. 9-6 will try to stop them. They'll use their Ragnarok with the Yumi on top of them. They're going to push them up as well with Cozy Trout's ultimate. Let's see if they got them. At least pretty low over here. Cozy Trout now trying to jump in, trying to create a front line. 10 9 6 provide any sort of damage over here. I am owner. It's finally over here now. Going to put down that damage they need. Kep will take him out, however. It's a two for one currently. Now 9-6 is going to flash oh. over the wall and take back him. what he wants. Kep now trying to fight over onto the Yumbi. He will go golden. He will try to stabilize this, but he will not be able to get taken down. Lampost and trying to take out 9-6 with the Yumi on him. But what do I say every time? Yumi is not a fair champion. 9-6 is almost full health. Wow. 9-6 back to full, like you say, and he just completely carried that fight which was looked like it was com gonna be totally lost now he's gonna run back towards the dragon but actually uh snarfles has stuck uh, around so we'll see uh i don't know i i'm not uh, sure that they're gonna be able to do this i'm owner's gonna spawn in time to defend yeah. the base i don't know if you uh that dragon's necessarily worth that tower uh but uh you know yeah, that's they, what they'll yeah. take that cloud drake is gonna be so valuable though uh just for the move speed around the map that's really what they need to do to prevent uh, yeah. now these, th this split pushing. And uh, the soul isn't up yet, but they have put themselves on soul point, a very, mm -hmm. very valuable thing. But yeah, XYZ continuing to push their advantage. Uh, the gold staying relatively even, but uh, XYZ with a little bit of the edge there. And they're going to keep just getting a little bit ahead in each fight. Um, 
yeah, this is this game is so so close. Now we are at the point where you know a team fight win for XYZ wins the game, and mm -hmm. a team fight win for Kimchi Boys uh, prolongs the game. Yeah, right now it's Kimchi Boys have reached that kind of scaling threshold that they needed to mm -hmm. reach. They can mm -hmm. fight now, but the problem is yep. they have two inhibitors down. <laughs> so yeah. the, it it does really really mean that one pick can decide the game and everything mm -hmm. and uh, that can possibly happen with that. So they're gonna stick together as a team as they're doing it right now. Uh, right now you're seeing Yumbi kind of like basically saving the base while the rest of them can try to contest this Baron, um, and they're just trying to bait it. X Y Z knows if they get a pick they just basically win the game. Lampost mm -hmm. can push very very effectively right now again. Yunbi over here. Just yeah, Yunbi matching advantage. lamppost is, an, is a mismatch. Two teleports oh. coming in. They're going ham now. They want this tower. They're going to jump on top of Yunbi. He will go golden here to survive for now, but that means a turret is going to go down. They'll knock him up. Yunbi will eventually die over here. He does. And here's 9 6 with the Yumi. He's jumping on over there. Can they save the base? They get one. They're going to pick up two. Lamppost goes down. Captain's going to go down. Oh my goodness. What a defense by Kimchi, boys. Captain Snarfles is now running away. He's going to flash over the wall to survive but they successfully defend. Yeah, really, really nice collapse there. Kimchi boys recognizing it just in the nick of time there and uh, being able to even defend that turret. Uh, the inhibitor still being down means they can't use that advantage to go for Baron though. Uh, they are kind of mm -hmm. approaching it now, but it's going to be very, very difficult. They have oh. to kill Captain Snarfles here. Captain Snarfles, he takes so much damage right now. He's basically can't really do a whole lot about that, but run away, so he will. The three of them are over this. Cozy Shroud is taking care of the face and taking of those minions. It's only one wave of super minions now, so they could do this and they do it pretty fast with those two champions right now on them. Chum Bucket's over here, of course, to keep them topped up of health, so Baron's not really going to do too much to them. Can they contest this? Can XYZ contest this to yeah, make sure it. they extend this series? Yumbi is over here now as well. The ult comes through. They will secure the Baron, but there's a call. Captain Starfall's laugh. He's trying to run over them. He will be oh. taken down. Shutdown goes for him, and they defend. They take the Baron. Can Kinchi boys come back in this game? Just unbelievable macro coming in from them right now. Captain Snarfles trying for the Miracle Steal with the Flash. That probably would have secured the win for XYZ if he had gotten it, which is why he went for it. But not getting that means now Captain Snarfles is on a 30-second death timer. And uh, we'll see. If you look, If you look at the map, there's still so many structures for Kimchi Boys to take down. All they've done here is managed to get themselves to survive in this game. Uh, they still need to do a little bit more work if they really want to get themselves in the position to take the win because that mid tier one turret is still up and you know that is just allowing so much vision and map control for xyz uh kimchi boys have still have a long road ahead of them kimchi boys basically trying to put together a film of why you never surrender games because hmm. imagine yourself in solo coup here those two yep, inhibitors yep. are down you're like gg next let's just get this over with yeah they don't no. give up here because they realize they just win every game they play in this league. Mm -hmm. And they don't want, they want to win this series. They don't want to drop a game. They want a 3-0 over here and they're not yep. re ready to just say GG next. No, absolutely not. They know how they have the team composition that's able to do it if they get uh, those, you know, if they get those abilities down in the right places and those Orn, uh, Orn uh, empowered items are starting to appear. You see the infinity edge already for the Aphelios. You see the hourglass. There for the Twisted Fate, you see the Black Cleaver uh, for the Olaf already all empowered. Not only that, look at the Medjai's Soul Stealer on Chum Buckets, mm -hmm. 20 stacks yep. uh, already, and that Ugh. is just going to be so much damage when that ult comes out. Just watch how it melts the uh, opposing team. Now they're going to go for Dragon Control here, getting the vision down. And it just puts you to the point where when you're playing Yumi, you don't have to jump off, get the auto-attack, get the shield. Your heal's enough. You have so mm -hmm. much AP right now that you don't have to put yourself in any amount of danger. And you can play with one hand at this point if you're Chum Buckets. But here's the fight. Here's where we want to get it down. Kept trying to make something happen here. He'll go golden and hopefully absorb enough ultimates for his team. But 9-6 is here. He's running in there with the Ragnarok. He will take out Lampos. They're going to run at you. They're trying to flash away, but the damage is coming. You're going to go down, Kept. Yumbi will pick up that one. They'll flash on top of you. Nine Six gets a double kill. Will he get another one? He's got the Yumi with him. He will look for that. Gets the triple kill. And that's going to be everyone down. But L.E. Kimchi boys wow. are going to start pushing into this base. 
Yeah, this might be game here. It looks like it looks like they're gonna end it right here, just with that engagement and just the Orn ultimate with uh, with X Y Z not prepared to defend was oh, just the no. icing on the cake. There, Kimchi boys are gonna take this game, game. And in such decisive fashion. Two inhibitors were down. And Nexus turret was down. The teleports came through, but X Y Z still are not able to stand up against Kimchi boys. What a comeback there! Uh, for our number one team. Let's send it over to the Red Bull analyst desk to break that down a little further.